Hi Taurus, this is Just with your December 2021 general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable um an enjoyable day so far. So Taurus, uh so some of you are in communication with an attorney. Um I see some type of a counselor, a specialist of some sort, attorney. Oh. Oh. This is over your relationship. Some of you may be also putting your foot down about a situation. Someone could have found out there's a baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is a little bit dramatic. Um, you're feeling like you. Stable, consistent, sound, grounded. You don't see, though, some things happening up ahead. So in the next week or two, month or two, um, you, you may find yourself at a deficit financially a little a little hit nothing too major and it may have something to do with family like you have to pay something help someone out um money is getting a little low and it may be because of this rift that you're having with someone is what it looks like to me look at your home life well this is a whole lot of waiting your life is just on hold, basically. It's a lot of waiting. It's a lot of hurry up and wait. It's a lot of, well, maybe I should be planning while I'm waiting and just more waiting. <laughs> and some of you are waiting to move, sell your home, buy your home. Waiting, waiting and longing for someone to come see you. So all I see is just waiting. What's coming up for you generally? Yeah, in your head. Oh, God. Okay, so you're in your head a lot. I hope you guys are feeling good. Are you guys okay um, health-wise? I see you recovering from something. Not feeling so great. Um, looks like you will be recovering from that. Also, oh, okay. For some of you, this isn't um, like anything health-wise. This is just going on a trip with friends and family and having a really great time. And kind of changing your mind. You may have felt like, well, no, I'm not going to go. No, I'm not going to No, I'm going to go. The last minute you're going to go and have some fun. And it may not even be at a huge distance. Just be going out. And that's probably what you need. You're going to walk away from a situation, Taurus, and but still hold on to it. <laughs> you're going to walk away and still hold on to a situation. Some of you um, may have another, I get four months before things start to kind of shake and bake. Is what it looks like to me. Unemployed Taurus, are you getting the job? I want to say no. This looks like a no. Um, I see one coming up. Possibly mm, no. Sorry, guys. This may be also a no. It may be a process for you to get a job at this point. And I see a lot of like some of you are in mourning. Someone passed away. So again, you're just not. Okay, it's not horrible but I do see you guys in your feelings quite a bit um, especially if you're recovering from something or you've lost someone and even going through a divorce that's a that's a death so there's that self-employed Taurus working hard working too much it may be time for you to get an assistant get virtual assistant someone that can help you because you're just working too much too hard too much um I don't know any tourist that works really hard. <laughs> they work smart. I don't, I don't know about so hard, but I'm sure they're out there. Um, very happy. Very happy tourists because, um, like I was telling Capricorn, you guys are creating a legacy for yourself. This this business will eventually, you know, for some of you, for a very small percentage of you, will become like a viable company. Um, and some of you, it's like you can even sell it eventually, this company. You can sell it or your product or something like that. Yeah, and have have the big stores doing the, all of the heavy lifting and the work. So it's, you have a plan to whatever this business is. You just have to continue to work it. And probably around your birthday time is when things will change, in, I mean, in a drastically amazing way. Well, congratulations. That's good. And so for, the, so for those of you who are unemployed, you may need to start looking into doing some work toward creating a stream of income for yourself. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of hours, a lot of work, but the payoff in the end will be worth it. Uh, let's look at love. Single Taurus ladies, what's coming on with you? Okay, so you don't really trust 
what this person is saying to you. For some of you, I feel you are... Someone is still waiting on you, still kind of caught up in the situation. Some of you may be newly single or still going through a divorce, a separation, a breakup, that type of thing. You're making a lot of things happen for yourselves, Taurus. So who you once was is no longer that person. Yeah, you're getting out of your head about things. And I feel like you even may, dare I say, Tauruses may reach out. Ladies, it's for single Taurus ladies, you ladies may reach out to someone. You may make the first move and initiate contact with someone. Um, I do see that. And for some of you who are brazen enough, there may be a relationship in the end for you. A major cycle is finally wrapping up. And yeah, this is, okay, so for you single, okay, so for you single tourist ladies, this is all about the end. This is an end to a situation. And I feel like that uh, solar return, uh, solar uh, eclipse, excuse me, guys. I know I kind of sound like I'm all over the place. This eclipse on the 4th of December may be just that, okay? Like finally, this karmic cycle is over. All of this shit I've gone through is kind of coming to a close. That doesn't mean it's all finalizing and everything is great December 4th no but you're seeing the light at the tunnel or you guys will be and again what has been your saving grace ladies is work work and focusing on bettering yourself that has been your saving grace eventually probably in the next five months or so you may be looking and saying is this all to life what the hell like when the hell did I become uh you know uh, someone void of love, you know, that type of thing. So you may really need to go back and look and say, you know, now I'm wanting something love wise. Yeah, it's going to take some time. Some of you may physically move, especially if your person was in that same place. You guys are going to be doing some moving. And with all this waiting in your home life, once you finally get on the other side of all this waiting and, you know, then you'll entertain love. Ooh, I see sex in the future of Taurus single men. <laughs> so Taurus single men, I do feel like someone wanted a commitment from you when all you wanted to do was have some fun. Um, right now, some of you may be really focusing on work men and, and also kind of enjoying people, like people that you haven't heard from for a long time, like women that, you, that may have like dropped off the face of the earth. I see coming back and communicating, wanting to kind of cultivate a relationship and work on it but it may be several like you're just kind of enjoying um, the people that you have in your life and kind of whatever comes that's what it is and I do see sex in your future why do I feel like okay I guess because double card here Capricorn um, this may be in Capricorn season where you're intimate and it's like we'll get to the commitment later <laughs> let's focus on the intimacy now but, you know, surprisingly, after having an intimate moment with someone, you guys may take a little bit of a break and come back into each other's lives. And, and it, it kind of be it's, it might be nice for a few months between you and someone, um, Taurus, single men. Yeah. And getting a lot of attention. God. OK. So, OK. Taurus. I kind of felt it. But I said, well, there's someone that either I'm gonna say it two different ways either you're gonna you're going to um, see and realize somebody is getting like your ex is getting together with someone and you can see it like you may see them together real time like oh so you've moved on or you're with them type of thing um, and they're gonna be together for a long time <laughs> this is your ex may be getting married to a person like this is their person they're gonna be with them for a long time and it's kind of like karma if that does that make sense maybe karma to you Taurus single men um others of you though you may just be minding your business ooh, la, 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 la. you know i'm just taking it my time have a little sex you know doing a little dating nothing hard. i'm not hurting anyone next thing you know you'll look back and be like how the hell did i get married how the hell did i get in a committed relationship <laughs> your guess is gonna be as good as everybody else <laughs> i thought you was a player i thought you would never settle down you guys are going to start settling down. It literally is going to feel like it came out of the blue. North Node and, and Taurus with Uranus. Yeah, that's going to happen. Jupiter and Pisces. Yeah, all of that's going to happen. You're getting ready to be somebody's whole husband out here, Taurus men. Single Taurus men. You're going to be somebody's husband. 
you are thinking that, oh, I got this lick and yeah, I know, you know, uh, well, I'm just going to be single. And no, you're about to be somebody's husband. You're going to be living with someone. <laughs> you're going to be caught into a long term relationship with someone or be a witness to someone that you still have feelings for. You are going to witness them be in a relationship with another person and it be long term and they're going to be happy. Okay, couples, Taurus couples, what's going on with you guys? Okay. Well, this is a situation with Three of Pentacles, uh, Wheel of Fortune Reverse, Knight of Wands, because I didn't, I'm not putting the cards up this time, guys. I just, I've been going and going and going. So it's just, you got the voice. <laughs> uh, so this situation with you coupled Tauruses, someone's trying to repair it. Someone's trying to come back and, and repair it. Um, it's going to take a lot of work gonna take a lot of work because there's a lot of pain here a lot of pain and this relationship has been at a standstill for quite some time and it looks like um it looks like uh you know yeah intimacy could come back again or it could be there but it's not remedying the situation one of you are numb in this relationship you're just numb you're just there Some of you may feel like your person. Mm, let me see. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. So you want, you love your person, Taurus. Very clear about that. You love them. And for some of you, it's kind of crazy. Mm. You know, it's kind of crazy because I have to say, some of you may long for a past person, but you, you long for them quietly. Like, you're not going to disrupt what the hell you have just because you miss somebody. <laughs> type of thing. Um... And I feel like at times you may get a little bored of this relationship. Like you want something else. Like you want something more. Um, especially if you're a very loving Taurus. Like you just ooze love. Um, and you're a healthy, loving type of a person. Right? You have healthy love habits. And you may be wanting someone who is matching that energy um, and at times it may just seem like you can get more attention and more happiness with friends and family and other people than you can in your relationship with your person is what it looks like to me um, I don't feel like you want to end this I do feel like you love them I do feel like at times sex becomes a punishment someone holds back on having sex I feel like someone you may suspect your person is up to something or again a lot of questioning what's going on because you're becoming lethargic or you know non-responsive just out of it not feeling like you want to be bothered or you may feel that way with your person like I'm I'm always kind of trying to bring us back together, bridge us back together. Someone here, I have to say, no matter what, they're going to protect this love, of this love affair. They're protecting it um, no matter what. That's what it looks like to me. Um, but it's kind of frustrating because someone tends to tap out like they've just become depressed or lethargic they don't want to talk they don't want to be bothered they don't want to be intimate they don't want your love they don't want your care they don't want you know and it could go vice versa so that seems to be very challenging in this relationship coupled with the fact that the sex is probably not as good as it used to be or it's in infrequent so that's what i have for you couples if you want to look at your person your person only and all that they want to reveal to you and where things are going, um, check that link in the description box below. You can also um, find my, the links to my website down below as well. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, tourists.